Hey boss. Yeah. Uh, listen, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it in today. Uh, I think I just need to kind of hang out, watch some Gronk highlights, drink too much, maybe cry a little, you know, you too, huh? Yeah. All right. Go Pats. Yo soy hanging up. Rock out with your Gronk out. It had been seven whole weeks since Gronk had rocked a Sunday night for us. The last one ended with a Super Bowl championship. This one just flat out fucking sucks. So I guess Gronk couldn't wait to take that job with NASA, huh? Finally decided to pursue his dream and enroll at MIT, huh? Mr. Gronk goes to Washington. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're making cheap jokes so as to mask the fact that you're upset about a grown man much younger, handsomer, and richer than you not playing a game you love and suck at anymore. It's understandable. I thought Gronk had one more season left in him. I really did. It's a tragedy for me. Me to see your career is over and i'm always gonna like the balls you spiked gronk i'm gonna miss you but after nine seasons eight afc championships four super bowl appearances three super bowl wins not to mention countless highlights touchdowns records surgeries memories and more it's time for big 87 senor 69 he who soy fiesta the one we call the gronk to hang him up. His last catch, which I got to see in person, was one of his best. It set up the GWTD for SB53. Tough to go out more on top of than that. Thank the Gronk balls, they won that game, so we get that catch as more of a lasting image as opposed to the Miami meltdown shit, right? Not since maybe late 90s Pedro has anyone dominated a Boston sports game the way that the Gronk did. He changed the game, his position, the Pats, all of us forever. Gronk was must-see Pats TV, a reason to always tune in. And when he was on the field, you knew a highlight, a score, or a comeback was always just a sideline or a seam route, followed by the destruction of a safety, two linebackers, and a cornerback away. Blah. Legit unstoppable. Some people that are labeled unstoppable, eh, kind of stoppable. Not Gronk. In his prime, Gronk was fucking Gronk. A great offensive lineman with wide receiver speed and hands. Another reason we loved him so much, his name is fucking Gronk. I mean, if he did everything he did, but his name was like Leslie Davidson, would we have loved him as much? Ah. His impact on and off the field, unparalleled. The offense relied on him. Defenses feared him. Grown men wanted to party with him. Little kids wanted to be him. Women, we're with him. Football fields weren't the only place Gronk spikes were delivered the past decade or so, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and you do, you filthy pricks. Patriots really need to target a replacement tight end in the draft, which is exactly why they'll draft five safeties from Rutgers. We're all gonna miss the Gronk so much, but do me a fucking favor, all right? Don't criticize the guy for retiring, okay? The guy just wants to be able to enjoy the rest of his youth upright before his Franken body and robo parts give out, all right? At the end of his career, Gronk Gronk was like Operation the Game in football pads. And don't be lazy and say he was injury prone, all right? If anything, Gronk was effort prone. He gave the Pats nearly a decade of everything he had, and in the process, became an icon, a legend, a future Hall of Famer, a verb, a hero, Gronk. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just here for the latest round of Death of a Dynasty comments. Brady's career, and thank God that's still going. Don't even, I just, not not now, now's not the time. Anyway, Brady's career has basically had two, three Super Bowl win halves. And it can be argued that Gronk was in large part responsible for much of the success in the second half of Brady's career. Brady to Gronk, Blah. like beer to mouth. I don't know how it's ever gonna get better than that. Uh, also, guys, we're not acknowledging the real hero here, Mrs. Gronkowski. I mean, for Christ's sakes, she birthed five Gronks. Five! No wonder the guy came to us with such a will to win and a high pain threshold. Like I always said, Gronk is like butter, bacon, beer, bourbon. Add him to anything on or off the field, and it's instantly better. Good luck wherever you go and whatever you do. If you're a success in Hollywood, maybe you'll be the new rock. And hey, if you decide to surprise us with a mid-2019 or 2020 season comeback, Pat's Pants, six to midnight. Till we meet again, Pat's people, this is your old pal Fitzy saying, Godspeed, Gronk, you magnificent touchdown titan, you goddamn gridiron giant. Thanks for everything you did for the Pats. We saw eternal Eternally grateful. See you in Canton in a couple of years, big guy.